everybody welcome back to the channel so we got something really different going on today we're taking this sawmill out of the shed i've got to somehow remember how to do that um i've all the only thing i've ever did was set it, or bring it home from the indianapolis when we first bought it and it's been sitting here for over a year cutting every day <laughs> we've never taken it out or moved it or anything so i've got to remember how to do that uh, i don't think it's very hard but I'd be lying if I told you I remembered everything, how it's supposed to go. <laughs> but yeah, we are going up north to cut logs for two days for this company, our individual that does woodworking and everything, and they got a bunch of logs up there. So we're gonna go up there. It's gonna be a little bit of a change of scenery for sure. But uh, yeah, I today, leaving tomorrow morning, and uh, I've got to figure out how to get the sawmill out. So uh, take you along with us. Let's get started. All right, so one of the first things I know I have to do is I have to put this table and slide it all the way up there. I don't know if that's the first thing I'm supposed to do, but that's the first thing I'm gonna do because it's the easiest thing. So. the easiest thing I don't remember how it went so put you guys on a time lapse while I figure this stuff out All right, so I got these two legs here set up. I'm going to pick up the head and I'm gonna put it down. The head sits, for you that don't know, um, the head drops down right over top of this. Um, and it sits right here. My other one, the other sawmill I used to move all the time, it was very obvious, but this one fits in that hole right there. So, like I was saying, this is the first time I'm going to be moving this thing in over a year. And before that, all I did was bring it home from Indianapolis. So, I don't have very much experience with this one at all as far as moving it. So, taking it kind of step by step here and hopefully everything goes good. <laughs> Alright, so let's move the head and we'll put all the hydraulics up and everything. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next.
All right, so I think that's basically it with the head and the hydraulics. Um, got everything tightened down pretty good, I think. The head's sitting on there, that's the main thing. Um, I know for sure one thing is these two legs right here, this, <laughs> that one, and this one right here, there it is, right there. Put those two legs up before you put the head down because once you put the head on there, obviously you can see the heads in the way and it makes everything very difficult. Um, so I always put those two up first for sure or you probably have to redo it. So the last thing is to this chain right here gets hooked somewhere on the head where it is probably covered in sawdust just like everything else like i said this one i haven't moved everything moved but once everything's in a little bit different of a spot see there's a hook right there the lt35 i used to have you guys can see right there is a hook the lt35 i used to have everything was so obvious and just to hook up um but all righty so now we're gonna get these last leg put up and I know that table there, I kind of figured it out, I think. The table slides all the way up. So the table around. slides all the way up and this hole there goes into that pin. Um, that flips up like that and then that holds it in and I know there's a bracket over there somewhere that goes on here somewhere. Right here probably. And it holds this so that that isn't bouncing because the hoses and everything that are in there are pretty important. So you want to keep those safe. And then after that, I know the wheel covers go on. And we're going to try to get everything cleaned up. And I got to get the skid steer with the um, hitch on it. And we're going to try to get this thing out of here without having to move everything. So that's what we're going to do next. All right guys, I didn't get a whole lot of the rest of the video, sorry. Um, Monday morning now, 520-ish, 521 right now. So got everything hooked up to the truck and uh, we're ready to roll out. So we shall see you when we get there. Hey everybody. So we're at the end of day one here sawing we got one more day to go. Um, got the mill set up here. We got quite a few more logs to go yet for tomorrow. Shouldn't be a full day. We cut quite a few today though. Everything went really well. Um, it's just all live edge slabs. I didn't get any video of sawing, unfortunately, but um, some really nice stuff. And these people take really, really good care of their wood. They wash it all off and stack it up all nice and pretty and getting it ready to go in the kiln. So. Everything is really nice, but I'll flip you around and show you. This is everything we cut today. Um, we It's about a three, a little over a three hour 
drive to get here, so we didn't get started cutting until a little after nine or nine or something. So we didn't cut all day long either because kind of ran out of stickers and stuff like that. But this is what we cut, cut today. We cut this log here and then we got this stuff here cut as well. But um, it went really well. I'm super happy with everything. Um, one more day tomorrow and then I uh, should be done. Head back home and keep cutting cedar. So we'll check in on tomorrow and let you know how everything goes. This is where I messed up. My phone died about five minutes before I cut the last log. I was so excited to get some cool video of all the logs we ended up cutting. There's a video or there's a picture on here that has most of them, but it was not all the logs we ended up cutting. It was it was a bunch. We cut probably twice as much as we did the first day, and it turned out wonderful. Met great people. They were awesome people to work with, and it was a great experience. But that was my bad. I didn't get to show you guys all the wood we ended up cutting. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.